Hey Yellow Jackets, I'm BK. I'm Serene. And, and welcome, welcome back to, to the, the Daily Buzz. Buzz. Got everybody talking, oh I got them watching All eyes on me, no I ain't even trying I got the buzz, I got the buzz, hey hey Practice your problem solving skills on Saturday, November 9th, 2024 During the 15th annual Prep KC Math Relays Regional Competition If you are interested in joining our competition team Please see Dr. Elkashawi during YGIS today at room 303 Reminder to all those who have received an NHS application, those are due next Friday, October 18th by 3.15 p.m. It would be fantastic if you could turn those in early to Mr. Phillips in room 302. Court is almost over, CHS. Stay strong and push through. It's Perseverance Monday. Keep working hard and don't give up. And make sure you're on top of any assignments or projects. The finish line is in sight. SGA members needing a ride to Boone after school to Boone on Friday to help set up for the carnival, please sign up in Ms. G's room 218 by Wednesday. Huge shout out to Logan Flores for not only placing third on Saturday at Plate County Invite, but also setting a new CHS 11 dive record with a score of 368.75. To put in perspective, 10 qualify for state and dive, you only need a 252. Way to go, Logan. While the final score of the Pink Out football game against Warrensburg was not what we wanted, Isaiah Jonigan completed an impressive 45 yard pass at the end of the game to set up our only score. Let's take a look. And now for this day in history. Here's a look at this day in history. October 14th. In 1962, an American U-2 spy plane flying over Cuba took photos of Soviet nuclear weapons being secretly installed and the Cuban Missile Crisis began. On this day in 1964, Martin Luther King Jr. became the youngest person to win the Nobel Peace Prize. This day in 1987, 18-month-old baby Jessica McClure fell down an abandoned well in Midland, Texas. Her nationally televised rescue came 58 hours later. And on this day in 1947, aviator Chuck Yeager broke the sound barrier. He was dropped from a B-29 bomber over Southern California. He fired his X-1 rocket engines and reached a speed of 662 miles an hour. Ron witnesses reported hearing a strange bang, what turned out to be a sonic boom, and Yeager hit Mach 1. And that's this day in history. And that is all for your daily buzz. Have, Have a great, great day, CHS. day, CHS.